champions and league leaders Paris Saint-Germain came into match day six looking to maintain their unbeaten start when they travelled west to face Nantes. After a fairly quiet quarter of an hour, it'll be the visitors picking up where they left off in the Trophée des Champions. A familiar combination of Leo Messi and Kylian Mbappe bearing fruit once again. Argentine drawing defenders in and laying it off to his teammate. A trademark finish. This task was then made harder still when Fabio earned himself a straight red card. He held out until the break, but early in the second 45, the lead would be doubled. Messi finding Mbappe again. Ten of his 26 league goals in 2022 have been set up by the great Argentine. Most of any duo in Europe's top five leagues. And then Neymar only on the pitch for a matter of moments. Struck the upright. Fellow substitute Nuno Mendes made no mistake on the rebound. His first PSG goal. Les Parisien remain at the top. They were also looking to maintain an unbeaten start to the season when they headed to Auxerre in the weekend's opening match. It would take the visitors just seven minutes to claim the lead. Ball down the right, but Jenga Zunda kept possession well. It was unlucky to strike the post from a narrow angle. But Gerson made no mistake on the rebound. His first goal of the season. He kept up the pressure for the rest of the match. It would finally pay off late on. Owen with the quick counter. The ball laid off to Guendouzi, who picked out Alexis Sanchez. Three goals in two games now for the new signing. Eagle Shooter's strong start to life on the south coast continues. And remain level pegging at the top with PSG. They continued their impressive unbeaten start in style during the week. And it's the next phase with a relatively short trip to a relatively beatable opponent in Reims. But after being reduced to 10 men, they would fall behind. And Marie Dumbia finding Flo Balligan. Fooled the keeper with his first touch fired into an empty net. Just as quickly as the game had turned in one direction, turned back in the other. John Anana with the cross, which was met at the back post by Florian Sotaka, and then turned in by Luis Apenda. 1-1, probably a fair result, all things considered. Long slipped back slightly from the leading pair. Plus Rantz, four games unbeaten. Lyon with the last of the four teams left boasting unbeaten start, and their game against struggling Angers followed the form book. Hosts opening the scoring on the half hour mark. Ball forward missed by Keda Bamba. Very well finished by Carl Toko Akambi. The lead would be doubled soon after. Ball worked out to Malo Gusto on the right. Delivered a sumptuous cross. It was headed home by Alexandre Lacazette. Three goals in his first five league games back with OL. Not a bad start at all. Early in the second 45, the third goal arrived. Gusto again with a cross from the right. Slight perfection, and this time Toko Akambi on the end of it for his second of the night. Three minutes later, it was four. Corner whipped in by Roman Fev. Bernardoni coming, but not quite making it. Headed home by Castello Lukeva. The icing on the cake would come late on. On the back, great strength shown by Moussa Dembele. And a finish to match. A five star performance from Legon. And still just three points off the top with the game in hand. Two teams on opposite ends of seven goal thrashings in recent weeks met in Sunday's early game as Montpellier hosted Lille. Despite the visitors twice striking the woodwork in the early minutes, the goal would come down the other end. Quick for long ball missed by both Wai and Jardim. The striker then with a composed finish to lift it over Jose Font into an empty net. But late in the first half, Remy Cabea with a nice through ball. And taken first time by Jonathan David for the equaliser. Things would get worse for Montpellier before half time. Valet Germain inexplicably scraping his studs down the Achilles of Adam Unas, giving himself a straight red. They would make their numerical advantage count early in the second period. Miguel Gomez slotting neatly into the bottom corner from the head of the box. And a counter from Losk deep into injury time as the host pushed for an unlikely equaliser. Saw David grab his second of the afternoon. They dog bite back and move above Montpellier in the table. Side Ajaccio but still looking to claim their first three points since returning to the top flight when they hosted Lorient. And struggle again though, this is showing a sign of things to come with a clever free kick fired in low. And Benjamin Lajoie forced into a good save. This is the pair's first meeting since playing in the second tier in 2020. And Lorient perhaps showing their extra year of experience, working it out brilliantly from the back and then releasing Dango Guattara down the right. 
Burkina Bay allowed to run unchallenged into the box before slipping the ball underneath the keeper at the near post. Straightforward 1-0 win for Lorient. Sees them move up to sixth. Zaxio are already four points from safety at the bottom of the table. Toulouse trouble to Clermont with just one point and position separating the pair in the standings. Corner mere seconds into the second half found its way to Maxime Gonelon for the opener. They are confirming that he was onside and Clermont had the lead. The second goal would see the hosts wrap up the points deep into injury time. Nice team play in the final third, allowing Mohamed Cham in to slot home his third goal in five games and seal an important victory. Clermont will move up to an impressive eighth whilst Toulouse foot towards the relegation zone. Started the season with three consecutive defeats. And Twat were looking to make it three consecutive victories when they hosted Wren. He did take the lead. Free kick lifted into the box. Only headed across the box by our own defender. Tony Lopez's shot blocked. E.K. Ogbo turning the rebound home. They were reduced to 10 men shortly after, though. The ensuing pressure would eventually pay. Baptiste Santa Maria with a lovely shot from the edge of the area. To go in off the post. Curling away from Gallon. We had no chance. Toa's winning run comes to an end. They'll be very set aside with a draw to keep them in mid-table, just behind their more illustrious opponents. Weekend's <laughs> action finished with the derby de la Côte d'Azur between Nice and Monaco. It's been a tough start to the campaign for the pair. Since Aegon started this particular game stronger, Alexander Nubel doing well to deny Dante. For all the host pressure. Be Monaco who grabbed the game's only goal. Rilan Bolo winning it in the Nice half. He would eventually get on the end of Caio Enrique's cross, rising at the back post to head in the winner. They want to ask who themselves up to 10th in the table as Nice slipped down to 16th place. Two teams sitting in the relegation zone met a 17th place to Brest. They host to 18th place Strasbourg. A miserable day in Brittany. There'll be more misery for the visitors early on. Yeah, Lise Melu taking one touch to control the ball and a second to fire into the corner. Two goals in five appearances for Le Pirat. Will be more than he scored in 33 outings for Norwich last season. But Racing hit back. Ashraf Dari a little clumsy in the box. And the referee pointing to the spot. asking for VAR, but the decision remaining the same. Ludovic Ajork, the man to step forwards. And he would make no mistake, finding the bottom corner. And that's how the game would end. Still the wait goes on for Strasbourg's first win. The draw doing little for either side though, who both remain in the drop zone. Relatively low scoring weekend, at least in comparison to recent weeks. Just 24 goals in all, still no goalless draws. Interestingly, more of the goals are coming from the away teams than those at home. So it's just PSG and Marseille level pegging at the top now on 16 points, with Lens having dropped back, so Lyon could match them if they win their game in hand. Lorient and Clermont going well in 6th and 8th. Four consecutive defeats for both Ajaxio and Angers have seen them already drop away from the rest, with Strasbourg and Nice surprise inclusions in the bottom five. week, full weekend of action. Top two host Brest and Lille. Nice have a great chance to bounce back against Ajaccio with Monaco and Lyon rounding out the action.